The key is that we act now and not wait until the next outbreak. You don't have a fire brigade that's only operational when there is a fire. You need people on standby all the time. In 1976, when I was part of the team that uh, discovered Ebola virus, the world was a very different place. So the threat for uh, this kind of outbreaks and that they become a threat for the rest of the world, and that they no longer remain local, is becoming much bigger. Because the world is far more connected than before. There's far more mobility. A silver lining of this Ebola crisis was that for the first time, um, research was done during an outbreak. You know, we needed to develop build all an infrastructure that was not there. We did not deliver fully, I must say. So we need a better um, global architecture to respond to this epidemic. Our research and development system to develop vaccines is not uh, fit for purpose anymore uh, because there is no market incentive. Nobody's gonna make uh, money out of a vaccine against Ebola, and yet we need one. We need to support uh, countries that are vulnerable to um, this kind of epidemics with building the capacity. Because in the case of Ebola, one, it took more than three months before it was established. And then it took another five months before the world really woke up. So we need a local capacity. That's really the front line and that's important. And we need to invest in that. We need this public-private partnership to create an environment that will produce these vaccines, will make sure that they go through the very complex regulatory systems and also that they'll be made available in the countries that need them most. In between epidemics, we need to set the rules, how to conduct trials, how to make vaccines available, and also that there is a stockpile of vaccines uh, that can be deployed immediately. So we need to create incentives so that uh, industry will produce them um, together with academia, but that there is also um, public funding, either directly to develop the vaccine through the existence of some special fund or through uh, pull mechanisms. A big lesson is that um, epidemics will always occur.